What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Happy Friday, everybody. And if it's not Friday, happy whatever day it is to you on that day right now. Woke up this morning, had a really awesome tweet from Farming Simulator. It's that time of year. Fact Sheet Friday is back. Take a look at our first four fact sheets and join us every Friday to release when we will reveal more vehicles and machines of FS19. Awesome. Yes, we got new fact sheets. Not only do we have new fact sheets, we have eight new pieces of equipment. The very first one is very interesting, and I'm going to tell you why. Because this holds a lot, but it is not the best thing that we have. We already have something better. I'll, I'll explain. So this is the Ideal Harvester. It says Massey Ferguson, but it will also come in a Fent version as well. That is confirmed. Uh, that was actually the very first screenshots we got. It is a combine harvester. It costs $465,000 for the base model. It's got 538 to 647 horsepower. We'll go 24 miles an hour. We'll hold 1,000 liters of fuel and we'll hold 17,100 liters, I assume liters, of crop inside of it says you can change the engine setup and the design, which is the brand that will be between Massey Ferguson and Fent. Engine setup, I'm guessing there's gonna be two or maybe three different engine setups for this. We also have the Massey Ferguson and or Fent Power Flow header. This is gonna cost you $79,000. It's got a 12 meter working width or 40 feet. We'll work at six miles per hour, which is standard. We'll do Wheat, barley, canola, soybeans, and oats. I'm not 100% sure which one is which down there. All I know is that we'll do those five crops. And again, we can change the design, which is the brand. Now let's talk for a minute on this. Let's break this down. Obviously we see the combine, we see the header, perfect. We see the background, awesome. Background's a little, but whatever. So in game right now, we're going to compare two harvesters because I feel like they will compare the best. We're going to compare the Axle Flow, the Case 9230, and the New Holland CR1090. Well, the Axle Flow 9230 is $377,000, which is roughly about a hundred grand less. It has similar horsepower, it's actually a little bit better horsepower. Now, this is FS17 compared to 19, but I feel like this is an important thing to let you guys know. Now, of course, it will only hold about 12,000 liters as opposed to 17,000. Um, and the header for it is 45 foot Draper header. The header on this is a 40 foot instead of a 13 and whatever meter, it's a 12 meter. So this Massey Ferguson Fent Ideal Harvester is going to be doing things at a slower rate, but will hold more. So you have to empty it less. But I just felt like that was an important thing to show you guys. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, we have in the 647 horsepower area, 653 horsepower is the New Holland CR1090, 430 horsepower, or $430,000. Again, more horsepower, but it holds less. Only holds 14,500 as opposed to 17,100. And again, all of the specs are pretty much identical there, but again, it has a 45 foot Draper header on it, which this does not. But this costs more. This costs 35 grand more just to be able to hold more. A little irritating, but nonetheless, it's fine. And just to give you guys a hint on the header type or whatever. Uh, so this one is running 79,000. The case and the New Holland 45 foot drapers run for 62 grand each. Now, if you wanna go into something that is more close to this, we do have a New Holland 41 foot in game right now. And we have a Massey Ferguson 40 foot, which is 58 grand, but this one's 79. I don't, I say I don't understand. I do understand. It just seems, it 
it seems very high for what it is. Regardless, moving on. For our second screenshot today, we have the Fent 1100 MT and the Elmer's Hallmaster. These things are pretty cool. Really, really neat. We're going to break these down for you right here. So the Fent 1100 MT is a tractor. <laughs> Duh. It will run you $428,000. It has a engine setup of 492 horsepower to 646 horsepower. Has a capacity of 1,000 liters of fuel. Will go 24 miles an hour. You can change the engine setup and the wheel setup. Ooh, okay. Standard or three meter tracks. Looks like they learned their lesson after the horse pack came out. <laughs> and then we have the Elmer's Hallmasters, an auger wagon, $93,000. 400 horsepower is required and has a capacity of 46,000 to 70,000. I called that out. I said we would have multiple versions and we will. This will hold, <laughs> hold on to your seats. Wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, oats, seed, and fertilizer. And you can change the main color and you can change the capacity. Now, let's do a little bit of comparing. We have, first off, the Fent 1100 MT. Base price of 428,000 for what I assume is the 492 horsepower setup. Well, in game right now, we have the Challenger MT800E at the base model of 492 horsepower. Again, exactly what this has because it's the same tractor. It really, truly is it's just redesigned. Same, same grill and everything. Check it out. You, you have to check it out. This even has the uh, Challenger thing on the front. They just took the badge off. I'm not saying that's bad. I love it. I love Fent. But in game right now in Farming Simulator 17, $396,000 will buy you a 492 horsepower Challenger 800. You are going to be spending another 30 grand to purchase the Fent version. Makes no sense. And it has the exact same engines. <laughs> we have a 492 horsepower, 592 horsepower, and a 646 horsepower. Now, we do also have the three meter tracked version, but in game, those are the same prices. I don't know if it's gonna cost any more to get those three meter tracks, but I just feel like it is something to bring up. Now, we also have in the auger wagons, the only thing that can even come close to this is the Brent Avalanche 1596. This will hold, i to go back here, 53,000. Now, I'm not sure this is a fair comparison, but it's a comparison that needs to be made nonetheless. This is gonna cost us, the Avalanche costs us 118,000 for 46. Now, we can go down something closer to this model would be the Bergman GTW 430, which is 87,000 holds 43,000 or is $43,000. So it's actually just about on par with the base model of the, the Elmer. But again, you are really, 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 you're going to want this. This is, this is cool. Again, I'm not sure it's a fair comparison, but it's a comparison that I wanted to make nonetheless. In our next set of fact sheets, we have the Samson Slurry System. Now this is really cool, and it is good, and I'll explain why. It's the PG-225 Slurry Tank, 87,000 will get you this, 220 horsepower is required, it will hold 25,000 liters, will work at 10 miles an hour, will do slurry and digestate. You can change the wheel setup from standard to narrow tires, and then we have the drip hose on the back, a drag hose, if you'd like to call it that as well, SBH436. This is a drip hose boom, will run you 40 grand, and it has a 36 meter working width, and work at 10 miles an hour. Again, those work together, perfect. Compared to what we have in game now, the only thing that comes close is the Venus Premium Integral 2, which is pretty, similar I would say but that's gonna run you a hundred and six grand now the difference here is 
the Venus is the tank and the drip hose combined. In this setup, it is separate. And in this setup, it's gonna run you 127 grand. It holds less. The Venus in game right now holds 30,000 liters. This holds 25,000 liters. But again, it's, it's the closest comparison that I can make to something we have in game now and the price difference between those. Again, pretty cool, pretty cool. So we can't change the color or anything. It's gonna be green. There's nothing we can do about that. Really cool. I will say this, and I heard someone else mention this as well. Um, I believe it was Dagger one that mentioned this, but I wanted to bring it up anyway. There is a mixer in the background, a cement mixer. And this could possibly be part of traffic. This could possibly be part of something that we can buy and have and maybe put down our own. <laughs> that would be really cool if we could put down our own cement. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. It's, it's up in the air, regardless. And our last sheet today is gonna be the John Deere 8R and the Grant Coat. Is it Coat, Cody, Cote, Cotter, I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, however the pronunciation is, it is this, it is that, oh yeah. John Deere 8R series, I've tried to make a few comparisons, but they're, it is fair, very, very fair. It is a tractor, yes. The base model will get you at 299,000. That is good. That is a good price. Yes, it is. 290 horsepower all the way up to 450 horsepower. That, as far as I've been able to find, is the largest jump of a tractor from 200 to 400. Uh, of course, we have the T8. We have the Massey Ferguson 8700, the Fent 900, the Valtra S series. All of those are good but they have much smaller ranges. So this 8000 series, the 8R, is really cool. And this is gonna be a very, very, very popular tractor. We'll hold 675 liters of fuel. Very standard for a tractor of this size in game. We'll go 31 miles an hour, which means it'll probably go 32 miles an hour, as we all know, unless they've changed that for FS19. We can change the engine, the wheels, and the wheel brand. Very, very cool. And those wheels, we can do standard, wide tires, twin wheels, and rear twin wheels. And then we have the Grant Coat. I'm just gonna call it the Coat. FRC. Now here's something that really, really irritates me about this. With this, it was filled container, $25,000, requires 50 horsepower, has a capacity of 55,000 liters. We'll do slurry, and digestate you can change the main color and the wheel setup and those are going to be standard and wide tires now in game right now we have the same thing the exact same thing in game i'm not sure why they made a fact sheet about this just to be completely honest with you because we already have this but i think it was to throw it in our face that they've raised the price 10 grand it costs 15 grand in game right now for the exact same thing. Now, we can't change the tires. We can't do from standard to, to wide, but we can change the main color and the rim color. So, in this one, we can only change the main color, but we can go from standard to wide. Okay, but everything else is exactly the same, except for the price, which is 10 grand more. I see you, Giants. I see you. You are not hiding from me. Oh, no. I see you. <laughs> so guys that is going to be it for today's video and fact sheet friday as they are calling it on farming simulator i don't know what i'm gonna call it but i'm gonna try and change the name up a little bit fact sheet friday's a little crazy anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already please subscribe if you have any questions please feel free to drop them down in the comment section i will be happy to answer any questions that you may have, any quarries or qualms or any other keywords or whatever, let me know down there. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.